Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen and look at this. Isn't this great? Look at that texture technique, all that kind of fun stuff. We're going to be playing with a new paper today. I'm going to be playing with the Arsh uh, Cotton Rough Paper and doing wet on wet, splattering, removing paint. I know you guys love when I do that. And um, I do this in real time and you can see how I kind of play with this, figure out what I want to do figure out what to play with you know I'm playing with alcohol spray all kinds of stuff and then you'll see how I just like came up with how to make the two cards because mm -hmm. everything kind of like once you're creating your brain is flowing with other ideas and you'll see how this comes into play um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section I really want you guys just to play and Friday is a good day to play so let's play today um, also check out my patreon I have ad free videos traceables exclusive tutorials on Thursdays and a live stream on the top tier once a month it's just a place people go and support my channel I have more extensive videos there um, I have um, more intense videos like I just did this nice snowman guy isn't it cute um, they won't find here on YouTube so it's only on patreon so without further ado, we're going to play. Oh, please don't forget to hit the bell notification button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> Let's get playing with paint, brushes, and paper. Woohoo! Okay, so let's go over supplies. Today, like I said, I'm trying out a new type of paper from Arsh. This is the rough. This is the orange pad. It was a big sale on Jerry's Autorama, so I grabbed some to see how I would like it. So it's just a little bit, it feels a little thicker, but it's still 140 pound, but it has a, like a real big super tooth to it. And there are other rough papers that are even actually thicker and a bigger tooth to that. And so I thought this is perfect kind of paper to play around with some, a little bit of wet on wet and then some painting, like just loose greens or whatever you know we were just playing with paper so I just taped it down with some scotch magic tape because I didn't stretch it and if it buckles a little bit I don't care I'll be using my number 12 and number 10 I got a new number 10 brush of the aqua elite series Princeton right there and I'm just going to start to use this flat wash brush to like wet down the paper too I've already mixed up some color here I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna really use any red so I'm gonna keep it mostly greens and so the colors, I'm using a flat wash brush, I'm going right in here and getting some water. And I've used a little bit of Prussian blue, but mostly ult ultramarine blue with some yellow. So one of like a blue green. So ultramarine blue is great. Getting that bluish green kind of color, see? And a blue green. Just like that. I'm gonna grab more water on my brush. Now this is really almost like water itself right and we're going to play with just putting that color in here it's like a really pretty blue green don't forget this watercolor paint will dry see how it's so rough that you get this almost instant dry brush because even though there's a lot of water on this brush it's just going to soak it right up because it's 100 percent cotton look at that it's soaking it right up let's get this blue green kind of color Kind of moving it around the paper here. Kind of fill it all in. You can leave some spots white if you want to. Um, and then I'm going to grab some deeper color. So I just mix some more blue, a little bit of yellow, more blue, maybe a little bit of brown. Kind of play with just kind of throwing in colors from the side. Get this nice soft kind of atmospheric kind of look. Woohoo! They're all kind of coming in towards the center. I'm still using this flat wash brush and it's still like white there. If I wanted like remove that white, kind of fill it in. I would grab some watercolor, so, I mean water itself, kind of move this paint around. And I'm taking it and lifting it. I'm gonna go back and add some more color. Same thing we just did, mixing up that bluish green. I'm making a mess of my palette, but I don't care. Okay, it needs to be more blue. That was a little too non-blue. Get a little peacock in here and get a little brighter. So a little darker on the edges. Just really kind of like this. Look at that atmospheric. It just really soaks this paper. 
just soaks it up and that rough texture is going to come in handy. I'm just kind of going on the edges here. I see I'm getting a little bit darker still. I'm going to grab my blue. Just kind of playing with, I don't like that line. So I'm going to take some water, put it on my brush, kind of lift it out, tap it. So while this is still kind of damp, we can take some of our um, liquid text white acrylic ink or white gouache and we can kind of splatter this and it will kind of create that resist. So here's the acrylic ink. There's a method to my madness playing with this paper. I would use like just kind of a crappy brush to use go into this acrylic ink. I wouldn't use one of your nice watercolor brushes. And I'll just take this brush and tap it over it. It's almost like it's snowing. And we'll see what happens when it dries. I got a big splash. It just kind of went there. <laughs> Didn't mean for it to go there, but it went there. And let's get a little bit more down here. Let's see this enhanced kind of in one section. Play around with that. Ooh. I love how you can just play with this paint. And now it's going to do its thing where it's going to start to slowly bleed. <laughs> Although this guy looks a little wet. I mean, it looks a little just bam, right there. We'll stick with it. We'll let it dry. So at this point, you can't do anything to it. You want to leave it. If you want to splatter a little bit of that blue-green, I'm going to mix up some more of this blue, and yellow, blue, maybe a little peacock blue, bluish green. It's like a really pretty gray, blue, green. I might splatter some of this. Let's just splatter the blue green and the white. Let's see what we come up with. Kind of fun, huh? <laughs> All right, at this point, we must leave it. Now, if you didn't like a little white, because this one's really thick, I might go in and just remove it a little bit with my paper towel. I could spray so it gets a little more diffused. Woohoo! Have you tried to spray with alcohol? Do do do. Let's see what happens with that. Now that's super wet. You want to kind of spray with alcohol when it's not super wet. So let me give it a few more minutes, and we'll come back and we'll spray it, because then it just does a different thing to it. It's just playing with the paint. Okay, so I let a few minutes go by. Let's see what we can do with spray the alcohol. Wow, Texture City. Ooh, that came out really cool. <laughs> that little section in there. Oh, and then diffused again. So now it needs to probably be drier to do this super spray with the alcohol. Kind of looks like a galaxy, doesn't it? I don't know. I'm kind of digging it. So I'm gonna wait a few more minutes and see what happens again. All right, I've given it a few more minutes. Let's see. Oh, kind of funky. Ooh, that one was cool. Just does some weird stuff to your picture. I don't know, kind of like digging it, right? It looks very, very, very funky like a galaxy. So the intention I was doing in the beginning is kind of like wild. And we'll see how it comes out. So now I'm going to just let it dry naturally. I'm not going to play with it. I still can't stand this little white dot, but I think I'm going to paint over it anyway. So we're not going to worry about it too much. So I'm going to let this dry, and we're going to come back. Okay, so it dried. So I'm looking through the lens because I'm standing up. It looks like really dark gray, but really it's a pretty kind of like bluish green. And I don't know why my camera is showing this nasty color. We have to figure out how to fix the settings on it. So it doesn't look this ugly gray. It's really like a pretty bluish green, sadly. You'll see the photograph of it when it's finished. Sometimes when you're filming, it's, I don't know, the camera. I'll lighten it up. Anyway, now I'm gonna grab my 10 brush 
and my intention was to have some greens coming like from all over kind of like a pattern just all over and play around with that and I will start with blue greens again and go into some deeper like regular you know forest type of greens so here's the yellow mixed with the ultramarine blue you get that kind of sagey green here I'm going to add a little peacock to get it a little bit brighter that bluish I'm mixing up a fair amount of this paint and we'll see how it starts in the beginning let's see if we like it take the brush kind of just wisp out some lines so the rough has a lot of texture in the paper so it's easier to do the dry brush kind of technique on this but since I already put a paint coat down we'll see how well it does with this dry brush kind of look so you're just taking the brush the tip of it just kind of wisping out some greens and I'm going to go like this and bend my brush and do it the same way out here this is when you're really playing with paper paint brushes color technique like you know that whole throwing the <laughs> alcohol in last second the wine <laughs> but it's alcohol spray bottle so I'm going to just kind of wisp out some more let's see let's have some coming up the top going down you can make them a little bit wider mine are kind of skinny more like a pine tree wisping here we're starting off light that's a lighter color again with the camera right now it looks really dark but it's not it's very frustrating and I'm just taking this brush and I'm making these little wisps it'd be pretty to add some gold touches to this so I kind of like paint intuitively I don't know how it's gonna look until I start to do it I have a vision in my head now sometimes I pre-do these and then I show you and then I do it sometimes I like to do it on the fly which I'm kind of doing now I had did something similar earlier and I didn't like it and now I'm just gonna figure out well let's just do it this way now so now I'm doing some other over here crisscrossing see how this looks so I got some green going there and there let's have some coming over there so this is an opportunity to play with my number 10 brush I'm kind of flattening out some of these leaves as you can see here still sticking with this one color first I'll go back in and I'll add other colors just seeing where I'm going with this where it lays all over this paper yeah I have that one line so I have to kind of do something with it now right it's just sitting there you want to mix up a fair amount of this paint, paint by the way it's my finger kind of guiding it and making the scraping noise sometimes I hold my finger like this and paint like this so it holds it especially if I'm standing up which I am right now you can't see me standing up but I am so I'm just doing some wispy greens wisp 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 whisper wispy wispy just get that first kind of color tone down in first kind of I did something similar like this with the bokeh last year I believe this time I played around with more techniques on the bottom area so let's see it's coming a little different all right let's make this up some darker paint so I've got Prussian blue I'm gonna grab my yellow and a little bit of burnt umber this is more of a foresty kind of green deep within the forest <laughs> You have a darker green Luke okay now I'm gonna go on top of that layering mm -hmm. 
wisping layering. So obviously that side's getting a little darker. Add some more of these dark pine needles. And this one up here, crisscross applesauce. We can also do this technique. I know we did all this painting. <laughs> no, you're going to say, oh no, I know what she's going to say. Yes, I am going to say it. So I feel like it's getting kind of boring, right? You're putting all these little fun things in here. We got to shake things up. We got to shake it up. I am going to paint everything in and then I'm going to do my little maneuver where I remove stuff. And you know, I know it seems counterintuitive to paint it and then remove it. But then when you remove it, because you've painted some things in there before, I'm going to grab some blues, go in here. Um, it just, you, you can get really variations of like colors and tones and, and patterns that you would not normally get if you just try to mess it up on day one. So now I'm putting in some thicker lines because I know I'm intentionally going to mess it up now in my head. I've decided to do this removing thing that I do. <laughs> that makes people crazy. It's almost like the people who like to splatter. Sometimes they get a little crazy. So here I'm putting in this little pine thing. Kind of reminds me of like um, palm trees that I've done. Okay, so we got those pine needles in. I'm gonna get a little bit darker again still on the upper left hand corner. I feel like your eye is gravitating towards this and why not get darker still? And out here, put some, so it's like three layers of color. All right, this could be a big disaster and it could be phenomenal. And this is what I'm telling you, I'm playing right in front of your very eyes. <laughs> I actually want to keep close by um, some gold paint. Just This is just gold Holbein W390. Keep this on handy. I'm going to do something with this. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to do something with it. So I'm taking my flat wash brush and I'm going to play. Okay, it's water on my flat wash brush. Let's see what happens. And I do this lifting. This is where the lifting technique comes in, twisting and turning that water grab more water. Let's see what we got. Do, 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 do. Can I even lift some of this now that it's gone down there pretty hard? Mm. Remove kind of like really, cause this is a cheap brush. You can kind of just wiggle that and you can take your paper towel tap 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 oh yeah we're getting somewhere now wiggling that paint off tapping that paper towel I'm loving it wiggling wiggling tapping tapping you can still see the pine needles wiggle wiggle tapping tapping <laughs> wiggle 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 tap 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 see what happens <laughs> jingle all the way remove that paint remove that paint <laughs> tell me I'm crazy I know it's the subtleness of the pine needles you're seeing I kind of like that it's an experiment and it could be a faulty experiment. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say, right? Okay. That will be careful because you don't want to wreck the paper because I've gotten a little crazy now. Okay. I don't know. I think it looks good. Just a soft pine needle kind of situation. I'm kind of getting really intense with my paper there. 
Now at this point you could splatter again like snow. Let's let's see. Let's see if we hate it. <laughs> at this point, I don't care. I'm just gonna have fun. So I'm gonna splatter again. So it's like snow over those over those lovely leaves. Petals. Snow, let it snow, let it snow. Let it snow, let it snow. Oh yeah, pretty. It's really snowing. This is what a lot of people love. I love it. Snowy. And then we can write some nice words in the middle. So we have to wait till this dries completely. If you want to take some time and take grab some of that gold paint, I would loosen it up a little bit. It'd be kind of fun to put some gold paint and then loosen this up with a brush. I have to take a really crappy brush to loosen it up because it's very, very tight right now. There. Ooh. The gold is really pretty. Just so subtle. I think I might go over and add some gold pine needles on top. Now that I'm loosening this up. It's always nice to have like a shiny ac accent. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'll let this dry. Okay, so I moved the tape, it's dry, and I thought of a great idea. You can keep it as is and then write some words, whatever sayings you want, put a white piece of paper in here. You know, you think about this, you could put a white piece of paper and write joy. Look how pretty that looks. Or you could have masked that off and wrote joy or Merry Christmas. But let's just take this. <laughs> you didn't think I was going to do that, right? You can cut it in half. Now, if it's better for you to fold it so you know how to get the halves right, do that. And then take an X-Acto blade or a knife or scissors, whatever. You get the exact halves. So I think I'm gonna flip it over just so I can see it. Take my nice metal ruler, my exacto blade, cut it in half, and then you cut the edges off. You know, taking the ruler, cutting all these edges off. And you have two wonderful like beautiful cards so you can just take all the edges off I won't show you both because it's take monotonous time so you have two now I might keep this one like this way this one could be either or way look how pretty that looks and um, you can write the words Merry Christmas Happy Holidays I would use maybe white, you could gold, you could use gold. Maybe you can paint a strip or take a piece of paper, put it on top so it's even like another thing on top, like I just showed you. I'm cutting this out. So on this one, it's kind of wild, right? You can just you can do this with a huge piece of paper and cut them all down. Um to like but four cards. I like the way this one came out. Right? Isn't that pretty? And then you just write in this section. You might want to like play around with taking a piece of tracing paper, which I do often. And you put that there and you grab a marker. If you want to write Merry Christmas. Right? That's how you do it. You kind of play around with that. And then you figure if you can do a color, a white, Will white show up there? I don't know. You know, I might have to draw a pencil. I'll take a 2 h pencil. Gold pen could work. Um, I had a gold pen. Don't know what happened to it. <laughs> you know, I can try and play with my white gouache, or the white acrylic ink, all that fun stuff. Or if you have a white gel pen, um, you can buy gel pens. I have one here. This is kind of like crappy. It might not even work. It does kind of work a little bit. 
You can get these at like Target, Walmart, anywhere. Mine's not working well. And then there's of course a nice gold pen. I don't know if this, I'm afraid to touch this one. I don't want to wreck my card. Let's see if I can try it with the tracing paper. This is what you do. You take a piece of tracing paper and you practice. Do you want to wreck your card? The gold show up nicely. I don't know. I don't know. I like the white better. So I think I'm going to take some white gouache and write the words. And if the white stinks, well, I try. Or you could use dark green. That would be really pretty. Right? The white might not show up. I might have to use a really small brush, like a number six. Here's the white gouache. I'm going to just try one letter to see if it works. Oh, yes. Very, very subtle. You have to take your time with something like this. So the rest of it's kind of crazy, and then you come back in here with your nice little brush. Oops. White shows up nicely. It's subtle, though. See, it's very subtle, but you can see it. Sometimes that's like the best. It's just a sweet, subtle card. Mary. This one might dry a little too translucent. I might have to go back in and just give it a little thicker paint. And my, my painting of this lettering is not the best, but that's because I'm kind of rushing to get to the video, <laughs> which happens. But you see what I'm saying. Just a little bit right there on the side. And this one, you can do whatever you want to. So then you just put them on, mount them on a piece of black or blue or anything. I have some blue cardstock, and this is a little too bright. I wouldn't put it on this. Maybe a nice green. I have a nice green. That would look kind of pretty. I'd have to cut that down. But there you go. Just a bunch of different techniques to play around to make Christmas cards that get you in like the mood of just splattering paint, moving paint, removing paint, all that fun stuff. <laughs> this is what I like to do when I first get some paper and a new brush. I like to play. This green's not so bad. It's a little too bright. I would do like a forest green paper. That would be so pretty. You know, I think it's really pretty. So I hope this gives you some ideas. You know, I'm not necessarily, I would not do red. And I'll tell you why. It's just going to take away the look of this really pretty, subtle, um, you know, greenery that you did. All you're going to do is gravitate towards that red word. And if you want people to see that red word, do it. But I would do gold. I would do white. I would do green. Something like that. So have fun guys i hope this was fun and entertaining for you as it was for me like i said i'm the real time tutorial girl i mean i want to show you what it feels like to be in the trenches of painting right you can have an edited video it doesn't really show you that i'm not going to do that for you i'm going to show you what it's like for me to play with the paper you know and uh that's how it goes you know for more and like serious kind of tutorials i do those also but it's always fun to play i have some serious tutorials on my patreon like i just did this little cute snowman so um if you're on my patreon you get to download that trace uh traceable and tutorial and i have like longer ones that's like an uh i think it's like an hour actually a video so check those out and you can see it in my description box and in my about page but here on YouTube, I'm giving you techniques and fun things to try. And sometimes I give you some more intense ones. But this is just a fun exercise in playing with paint wet on wet and some alcohol spray, some acrylic ink, you know, all that. And removing the paint, which I know you're like always like, why is she doing that? Now, see, if I take away this ugly cardboard, you can see how much pretty these cards would look. Look how pretty they look. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I put it on the green paper. Put it on white paper. Look how much prettier it is. I love it. I think it came out. I think when I was, you know, I had it taped off and I was like, oh my God, why don't I cut this in half? It's like two cards. It's so pretty. See, this is what happens when you're kind of creating. You just have more ideas. All right. Take care, guys. And please don't forget to hit the bell notification button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'll speak to you soon.